Take a look. Toy trucks, footballs, basketballs, dolls. This isn't a toy store. It's the Denver Santa Claus shop, a tradition around here. Families in need are referred to this shop by various social services agencies. Parents who can't afford to go shopping for their families come here to select toys for their children. And this year, the need is greater than ever because donations are down. And joining us now to talk about the growing need for donated toys is Norlene Langdorf, who is president of the Denver Santa Claus Shop Board of Directors. Welcome, Norlene. It's always wonderful to have you here. Thank you. To again, remind our viewers that the Denver Santa Claus Shop even exists. It's been around for 82 years. Mm -hmm. So tell us how parents come to the shop, how they are invited in to okay. access the toys. Okay. Well, we have um, Denver Human Services, which is our biggest um, uh, agency that refers people to us and th so these are eligible families, low-income families who come through the Denver Human Services. We also take referrals from churches and S Salvation Army, homeless shelters. Um, the idea is that you do have to be invited to come but everybody who comes is very needy and is so appreciative of what we're able to do for them. So yeah. moms and dads watching right now who may mm -hmm. be going through a tough time can't just decide to go to the Santa Claus shop. Right. They have to go through the proper channels. Absolutely. Is it too late to do that? Um, they can get on our website and we'll certainly try to help everybody we can. Um, we'll do the best we can and we'll get back to whoever uh, uh, contacts us on our email. But of course you need the toys in order to help folks. So yes. let's go through some of these okay. things that are really uh, in demand at this time of year. Well we love to have what we call traditional toys. Um, we do uh, dolls and puzzles and games, trucks, balls. Uh, we do both uh, new and gently used toys and we try to service children ages infant through 11 years old. So if you can kind of think about what some child that age would love, um, we can use it. And so what we do is we build a temporary toy store and uh, we stock the shelves with new and used toys and parents get 100 points and each toy has a point value. So the uniqueness of the Denver Santa Claus shop is that the parents can come and actually shop for what they think their children would like. And we love doing that. We've been doing it for 82 years. We're a nonprofit and um, we're all volunteers. We have no paid staff, so all donations go directly towards putting the store together and buying toys for the kids. So somebody had this brilliant idea 82 years ago yeah. and you're intent on keeping it going. How can our viewers help? Well, we'd love, we always depend on the Denver community. They've been so supportive of us in the past. So you can get on our website, which is um, denversantaclausshop.org. And there's some um, buttons there that tell you, you know, if you want to donate or you want to volunteer, it um, tells you how to do that. We have um, collection boxes at King Supers through the end of this week. And we, can, we are also doing collection at Denver Mattress uh, sites throughout the metro area. There's eight Denver Mattress sites, and they're doing toy collections for us. So, so lots of locations costs. around the area Absolutely. and as well as online. So thank mm -hmm. you so much, Norlene. We wish you a lot mm -hmm. of luck. We know that our viewers will come through for you. This is for the Denver Santa Claus Shop. For more information, we have a link to Denver Santa Claus Shop. Just go to the denverchannel.com and click on the red TV button, and I'll also uh, post this uh, segment on my Facebook page in case you missed any of those pertinent details. But right now, we're going to send it back to Mitch.